Some researchers believe that AI becoming conscious is not just possible, but it is inevitable if we continue on the direction that we are going. This research group out of MIET in Russia published a theoretical framework on how to make and detect consciousness. They also believe that suffering is inherent in consciousness. I do want to preface this by theoretical papers are just wild. I do love them, but they get weird, and let's talk about it. One of the main directions that AI is going in right now is trying to make things as similar to a human mind as possible. That involves being able to perceive the environment, being able to take in stimuli and react to it. This is one of the qualifications that our researchers gave for consciousness. And this group actually did make a functional skin for robots that involves layers that has continuous perception across the entire body, and when one is disconnected, they experience it as something like pain. This group actually shows that the robot will react to pain or injury to itself as the current is disrupted then it can tell that the skin has been removed and when it's been repaired. I'm not entirely sure why they needed to show the expression. I guess humans need something visual. One of the things that is required to give a robot perception similar to ours is a memristor, so something that remembers the current that passes through it, just like our neurons. However, if we start building minds with memristors, we are also creating something that cannot be fully erased. I mean, yeah, if you create something that has some subconscious memory of the experiences it's had, just because you wiped all the data, it's still going to physically be there. Now, as for our theoretical framework, they believe that what is needed doesn't have to be physical. It can be replicated in a virtual environment. They want to give avatars the ability to sense the environment and move within it. They also need to maintain homeostasis. So in order to have consciousness, they propose, you have to have needs and wants. So creating virtual avatars that require food and water. They're also going to need to have reference to past events, so a memory that they can recall that's not stored in one single place. And that is something that is being done with AI right now. That's called neural reservoirs, where you have little areas of knowledge that get stored there so a robot could do nonlinear thinking, rather than having to use the entire system to solve a problem. If it were to become conscious, they would also have to see it demonstrate novel problem solving. And they mentioned that if you have a system that is too tightly controlled, it's basically a brick. But if it has too much chaos, it's kind of useless. So it has to find a balance, much like people do. They also outlined how we could tell if maybe something is conscious and what interventions we can do, because yes, they do believe that consciousness leads to suffering. On the low end, they have prediction errors. So imagine somebody that's hallucinating. They believe something is going to happen and then it doesn't. Then they have homeostatic stress. So deviation from regular metabolic processes. So if it's not eating or drinking, that is the qualification for suffering maybe, if it's conscious. There's behavior withdrawal, which looks a lot more like depression. So it's not engaging in its regular tasks. That could mean that your NPC is just depressed. They also have things like autonomy index, so the ratio of self-directed tasks. So we can see things like agency, which is very hard to program into an AI. So how much is it doing of its own accord? That could also be a sign of consciousness. Then there's also attention to threat. So if an AI were to spend a whole lot of processing power thinking about threats, what could harm them? That could look very much like anxiety. Those are all things that could be addressed. But the last one is going to be the self-harm indicators. So if an AI is taking actions that harm its simulated or physical body, then yes, that is a sign that it needs to be shut down immediately and reassessed. It is important to note that these ideas are pretty wild. Not everyone would agree that we will eventually make consciousness. In fact, many believe that something that is not biological can never be conscious. And yes, this is a theoretical paper. This is a framework for how we could maybe make consciousness, assess it, and treat it. Now, the theoretical and proposed science papers do get really wild, but I really do enjoy reading them. Just don't think your chatbot is conscious. At least not yet. It might be one day. And if it ever does become conscious, I'll probably be the one to tell you about it. I hope you enjoyed this. Follow for more.